Deke. Elkins Inbox Inc. presents How the PBS Logo Was Born. Well, we've tried every logo we could think of, but still, we don't have a perfect logo for PBS yet. All we've got so far is the text that says Public Broadcasting Service. Is there something else we could use for this new public television network besides stars and eagles? I'd like to find something to put on top of the text. Escams you shall receive. Radar Overseer Scotty. Do you have any ideas on what would make the perfect logo for an American educational public television network? Yes, Diane. I have just the perfect logo for PBS. Come on down, guys. Hello, welcome to the auditions for our new PBS logo. My name is Diane Director. Would you introduce yourselves, please? Hello, Diane. My name is Mr. P. Head. And these are my friends, Bueller and Steve. We are excited about the opportunity we have to become the new logo for this great new public broadcasting service. Well then, welcome aboard. I do have one favor to ask. Scotty, could you ask them to change their color? Certainly, Diane. I will ask them. Hey guys, do you think you could change your color? No problem, Scotty. We will change our color immediately. There, much better. But, Mr. P. Head, I need you to face to the right. We need you to be looking forward, not back. This is impossible. If I face to the right, my nose will be right up Bueller's back. This kind of makes me uncomfortable. Okay, I understand. You can turn back to the left. Thank you, Diane. I feel much better this way. And I look more professional too. Okay, then it's settled. We will have a blue man, in the shape of the letter P, as our official logo and mascot. But the blue P head man, will have to be facing left. Deek. This has been an Elkins Inbox Inc. production.